in our final scripture for our, in our final scripture reading for today, the disciples are caught in a violent storm at sea. And they see Jesus walking towards them, walking on the sea, and they are terrified. But Jesus says, it is I, do not be afraid. I don't know if you have been in a large terrifying storm, when the wind blows so hard that you wonder if there is a tornado in the midst of it. You wonder if a large tree is going to come down on your house and crush you or your family. Or the wind is just going to rip the roof off and take you with it. Or maybe you've been in a large flood. I remember when I was a child, there was, there was this flood that covered the entire area where we lived in Houston. It was raining for days. First the streets fill up with muddy water, and then the water starts creeping up your front yard, and finally it starts to slosh into your house. It is a really sickening altering of reality. Water is not supposed to just come pouring into your house from the street. And the rain just keeps falling, and, and the water keeps rising inside your house. And there is no indication that it is ever going to stop. There is a sense that you are completely out of control. Forces far larger than you are determining whether you live or die. Have you ever felt that way? Whether you were in a storm, or a flood, or maybe you were going through a serious illness, so sick that you could barely focus, and the doctors didn't know what the illness was, some unknown infection in your bones, in your blood, or in your lungs, or fluid filling your lungs, surrounding your heart. It is it is a terrifying feeling, not being able to breathe. This is just a small list of storms that you may have experienced in your life. Violent eruptions in a family can be storms in a child's life. A man loses his arm in a work accident and can no longer work the job that he has known all his life. In a true and terrifying storm, forces beyond your control determine your life. And in the midst of the fear, you realize how precarious life really is. You realize that there may be no tomorrow. And all of your plans, no matter how important, are completely uncertain. And yet, and yet, there is a gift that you can receive in the midst of the storm, or in the aftermath of the storm. As your very life is threatened, you find that Jesus is there with you, or that Jesus has brought you through. And somewhere in the depths of your being, you know that even if you don't make it through, even if you should die in the midst of this storm, that you are okay. Jesus will bring you through to the other side. Even if you should die, you will wake up in the kingdom of heaven. That is, that is quite an amazing hope to discover in the depths of your being. You may not have even known that it was there, but through the absolute fear of the storm, whether it was a tornado, or an illness, or an accident, 
then you discover the core of your hope. A hope that goes beyond any of the supports that this world can offer. But sometimes the storms of your life are not life-threatening. Like when you lose a job, or you wind up in a wheelchair, or you have a fire in the house. And in the midst of these losses and the painful changes that come from them, maybe you discover the presence of Jesus in friends who offer to help you with your daily chores. Maybe you discover the presence of Jesus in the people who offer jobs retraining, or the people who provide you therapy, or the neighbors who provide you with temporary food and shelter and clothing, or the professionals who provide you with counseling, helping you to see a new pathway through life. And sometimes, sometimes Jesus comes to you in the simple humility of knowing that life is temporary. In a true storm, you realize that all things are temporary. All of your possessions, all of the people in your life, even your own body, are all temporary. But rather than filling you with a sense of sadness and loss, Jesus can show you how precious everything and everyone in your life is. Every day that you breathe with ease is a gift. Every moment that you walk with strength is a gift. Every time you hear the laughter or even the argument of children is a gift. Have you ever gone through a terrible storm and, and afterwards the sun is shining brightly, and the birds are singing, and the sky is blue. There may be devastation all around you, but you are alive. That moment, that feeling, is a gift. And you can hold that gift every day of your life. So the storms in your life may be unwelcome and unwanted, and yet sometimes it takes a true storm in your life to provide you with transcendent, eternal gifts that you could receive in no other way. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord.